the kick for Texas State. Bobcats and the Owls are underway. So out to the 25-yard line. Ismail Mahdi in the backfield to the right of Finley. In motion, Joey Hobert. There's a big hole. Mahdi cuts it. He's to midfield and drop there. Well, this is what they want to do. They want to spread you out, then use the speed of Mahdi to go north. Try to bring some pressure on TJ. Third down and eight. Underneath route is there. Pass is caught. That is Ashton Hawkins with his 53rd catch, and that's good enough for a first down. Tamil Jeter in the game at running back now. On third down and about a yard. Jeter cuts it to the outside to the 20, 15, 10. He'll take it to the end zone. 29 yards. The seventh touchdown on the ground for Jamil Jeter. G.J. Kinney's team averaged over 50 points a game. Trying to bring that to San Marcos. Off to a good start, 7-0. Dean Connors in the backfield alongside his quarterback, Padgett, who will look to throw, and he is dropped at the 35. Padgett's throw is caught there by Landon Ransom Geltz. He will have the first down around the 30-yard line. Alonzo Edwards makes the tackle, but that'll be a pickup of 12 for the out. Came a little bit early. Some guys want to take some shots down the field, and you know, for, for A.J. Padgett, it's more the quick game. McCaffrey breaks a tackle, has some running room. Luke inside the 20, has the first down around the 17-yard line, a pickup of 13. Outside, and I want to focus on Connors, the running back, Takes the linebacker one-on-one -on -one to spring his receiver, McCaffrey, open to the outside. 7 one to go in the first quarter. A.J. Padgett at quarterback. He will come to the near side. Get it to McCaffrey. Trying to get a block, and he gets to the end zone. Touchdown, Rice. Seven yards out. Rolling on the field is a touchdown. Left foot in. Right foot in. Ball crosses. Touchdown, Dave? I think it's a touchdown. Yeah, touchdown. What did the coaching staff tell us this week? No touchdown they can remember from this season, season from McCaffrey ever looked easy, whether it's a catch or now, obviously one-on-one, -on -one, the goal line, being able to take on a defender and stay in bounds to be able to get into the end zone. that you've seen from him be able to absorb and still haul it in throughout the season. Deep kickoff that's going to be brought out by Mahdi. He is met at the 12 and dropped at the 15-yard. So second down. All day to throw for Finley over the middle. Pass is Ooh. caught, just snagged. Joey Hobart with another outstanding reception. It turns essentially into man the man. You see the backside safety spying. T.J. Finley's eyes and just not fast enough getting across the field. And Hobart goes in motion. He'll fake it to Mahdi. Finley throws on the run back over the middle. Has a wide open Ashton Hawkins. A flag is down. Hawkins spins to the five, down to the three, and finally dropped around the two-yard line by Tyson Flowers. They'll go with Jeter off the left side, tries to power into the end zone, touchdown, Texas State. Stop me once, stop me twice, but 230 pounds, three straight times. They had to win their last two ball games to become bowl eligible, and they did it without JT Daniels, who had a career year for the young man. From the 10-yard line. Jackson stumbles and bumbles his way out over the 35 to the 40-yard line. Nice return for Rice. Mason Shipley had to come in and make the tackle, the kicker. A 30-yard return. Pressure comes. Padgett tucks it and is dropped at the 42. So an opportunity to kind of hopefully milk this thing away and get some points on the board for halftime. Oh, here's Connors turning the corner. A lot of running room. First down inside the 30-yard line. Using some of that speed, tripped up by Sean Holton, but a big gain 
for the Owls of 26 yards. Once he became bowl eligible, G.J. Kinney promised the folks he'd jump into the San Marcos River, and that was him jumping in there with a cannonball. Oh, speaking of cannonball, this one might go back for a touchdown. A pick six for the Bobcats. Brian Holloway, 35 yards. Every single day ready to work. An absolute grinder. The, thing, the guy that makes this defense tick this season is a great job undercutting the route over the middle of the field. Reads it throughout the ball game so far. <laughs> Second down and three. Hand off to Connors, and he is hit and dropped there. And another big hit from Brian Holloway. He is kind of feeling the love. He had a couple of 400-yard passing games this year. 432 against USF. They'll dump it off to the youngster, Elijah Maharo. Stays on his feet. Third down. Third down and four, a couple of tight ends. Come near side. Maharo, the tight end, nice move. He's inside the five, down to the three-yard line. It'll be first and goal for the Owl. They'll go under center with A.J. Padgett. Dean Connors, your tailback. Hand off right side, Connors. Rice with the touchdown. CSF drives, couple penalties to extend it, but found a way to continue to move the football and absolutely love the block from the fullback, Hargan, one-on-one. -on -one. Power downhill, old school foot. We'll run it with Connors again. Big hole to the 10, to the 5, and we are tied. How about the run from Dean Connors? Dins are doing a great job as well, working their combinations to the second level. And you see him not really touched at all until he dies for the end zone. Little play fake, Finley stands in there all day to throw. Pass is caught. They're gonna say reception by Cole Wilson. That was coming in at about 95 miles an hour. Second and goal. Finley looking to throw. He is hit and dropped back at the 15 yard line. DeBraylin Carroll with the sack. Good clean snap, kick is on the way. And it is dead, solid, perfect. So that'll be the final play of the first half. Obert in motion across the formation. Sets up in the slot near side. Pressure comes. Quick slant to Hobart is caught around the 20-yard line, and that'll be good enough for the first down. I believe. Two, one. Gets the snap off just in time. Finley going to throw it back. Has his offensive lineman. Nash Jones, touchdown! Nothing like a big man TD. I said they needed a big guy to throw a jump ball to. I mean, he gets bigger than a 6'5", 320-pound offensive lineman on a throwback screen to the left tackle. Nash Jones, broken fibula early on this season, has missed most of the year. Finally back fully healthy and showing that that fibula is touchdown around Christmas time. Actually, a little cookie to catch and get in the end zone. I gotta judge the celebration. Anything good? Anything good? Anything good? Over the middle, picked off again. Brian Holloway already has one pick six. He may have number two. Touchdown, Texas State. Texas State's ability to make the young quarterback uncomfortable in the pocket just does not see Holloway at all. And man, talk about some last second Christmas presents for number zero. Two pick sixes. See if you make a couple guys miss, but I do not want to take my quarterback in a long drop here. Jenkins, he is hit and dropped at the five. The flag comes in late. It looks like there's going to be looking at targeting here from Bell. 33, Ben Bell. They have really any free space to create plays down the field. On first down, Otoviano stays on his feet. Pocket collapses, down goes Jenkins. At the 25 yard line, Dominique Ratliff. On empty protection, essentially 
just whips the left tackle. Clay serving right around the edge. Low snap doesn't help at all, but great job getting to the quarterback and then. Pressure comes, Padgett sees it down the middle, high throw, and this one's picked off. Picked off by Sean Holton. And bodies are flying everywhere. A near fight breaks out around the 45-yard line. And a flag comes out again. Hey, they may be calling me in next, so just, you know, you may have to take over the rest of the show, Dave. Oh, I would love to see that. I'd be more than happy to. It's been a while since you spun one, I think. Oh, that was and my turn. Let's go. Intercepted. But they have been held in check. Those two pick sixes, this is an entirely different scenario. Yeah. No, I, I think both defense. Seamus or Kelly to punt it away. Flesh back to return. Did that hit a Rice player and bounce right into the arms of a Texas State Bobcat? I believe it did. Oh, my goodness. All right, let's get a good look and see who. Yeah, it was a clearly a Rice player. Hits right off that right shoulder pad. The and long what? snapper, the, the long snapper, John Orline, is the one who comes up with the football. <laughs> this one will be downed at the two-yard line. Two up-and-coming programs for sure. Marty cuts it to the outside. He'll be dragged down around the five-yard line. And Motti will go up over 100 yards once again this year. Well, fitting for him to be able to finish this game and this season off that way. You see the jump cut, locates the hole, accelerates through it. What he does, his specialty, that speed. And, and San Marcos and G.J. Kenny in his first year as the Texas State head coach got a contract extension, a, a raise, and rightfully so. Better days ahead for Rice, that's for sure. Mike Lundgren and his company have certainly found some success down in Houston with this football program, and I'm sure we will see them in a bowl game next year as well. But this one tonight belongs to Texas State as they win it 45-21. to Awesome game. Congratulations, Texas State, man. Eight wins, year one, bright future ahead. Keep